Yo, what is up guys? It's Eric from The Surf NJ here at the Raritan Bay. Striped bass season in the state of New Jersey officially kicked off March 1st. Now normally I don't even get out on the water the first month of the season because number one, I hate the cold, all right? This is not built for the cold weather. And number two, usually you're hearing the reports and you know, you're catching some rats here and there. Nothing's really popping until April comes around. But this year, for whatever reason, it's been hot and it's been on fire from week one. Week one of the season, I was fishing with my Tom's River boys, Enzo and Dave, famous Dave, who caught himself a 34 inch keeper in the back of the river in 43 degree water with a white paddle tail at low tide, seven feet in front of them. Nothing about what I'm saying right now is making any sort of sense to me, but it just goes to show you that every year is gonna be a little different. Now, as for me, listen, I've been trying to make a video for you for the last month, all right? I've been down where the Mullica meets the Great Bay. I had a rough time of it. I, I, I've been where the Toms meets the Barnegat Bay. Had a, had a rough time of it, although your boy got on the board. With this little guy in the Toms River. But right now, the Raritan Bay is going to start kicking off. Especially where the Raritan River meets the bay because the water's getting warmer. The bunker are splashing. They're eating up the worms. And we're getting ready. We're soaking some blood worms, some bunker chunks. Let's see what happens. Yeah, thank you very much. You know it's a good day when you just got free bait. All right, so. There's the bunker chunk still there. literally just right in front here not even going anywhere with it Let's see what happens right there all right and I did buy some blood worms yeah give me the worm son Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, we're on, guys. Oh, there he is. All right. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Get up here. There you go. Think or do. Dink bass, but we are on the board. Dink boy. We're on the board. There you go. Oh, this is the shutter crab? No, I want the I want the clam. I want the clam. Oh man. Here you go, dude. Blood worms one, bunker zero, but you gotta put the stank on it. The finescence, you get this at the tackle box in Hazlitt, bro. You gotta put the stank on it. Give it that good, good smell good. Ain't no good if you don't put no, no stank on it. It ain't no good if you don't put no stank on it. How you doing, mister? Little one, on the board. Just a little. Stripe? Stripe, yeah. But they all over. Yeah, they're already out here. You can see all the bunkers washed up on. A lot of bunker. It's the way. Oh yeah. my god. From there up to there. All bunker. All bunker? Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. 
I can't I can't go fast enough. I can't go fast. Oh, oh shit. Nope. That, that, yeah, that, okay, that one seems a little bigger. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a little bit bigger than the first one. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. What do you think? 23. 23? Bet you he's 23. 23 on the button, E. Look at that. Thank you. 23 on the button. What's happening, bud? They're out there. They're out there. Fresh and free bait. Even put a little stank on it. Put a little stank on it, bro. That's all you gotta do, man. Get your bait, put a little stank, you're ready to go. Mo worm, mo stank. Fishing ain't complicated, people. It's all about the worm and the stank. Ooh, yeah. Yeet! All right, so the rig that we're using today is your basic, basic, basic fish finder rig. Nothing fancy going on here. You got your main line connected to a barrel swivel, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, roughly about, I don't know, two foot worth of that. And then you're down to just a fish finder. Just this little pyramid sinker here, another barrel swivel to stop it. And then you have a inline circle hook to your blood worms. Now this is different for this year, okay? You have to use inline circle hooks when fishing for striped bass when targeting stripers it doesn't matter if you're using clam if you're chunking bunker if you're using blood worms you have to use inline circle hooks and basically what this rig allows you to do is cast out and this is like a free flowing weight so you don't set circle hooks that's that's something that i have to honestly get used to because i'm so used to like you know, seeing the rod and setting the hook. With circle hooks, you don't do that. They're in a circle, so they're meant to hook the corner of the mouth. All you do is reel in. But what you want the fish to do is grab the end of this, start pulling, and actually have a lot of leeway so that this fish finder rig just goes up and down, and then when it gets tight, it hooks itself. You do want to keep your drag a little looser on these things. Eat the worm, S.A. Eat the worm. Decent, decent, decent. Nice. There we go. There you go. Another Jersey schoolie. About 20, about 20 inches. There we go. I tell you, I'm having better luck with the blood worms than I am the bunker but I'm also having better luck with the clam stank rather than the shedder stank you know where you put that stank on it look at all the bunker look at all the bunker you seen this you seen all the bunker all this but look at all the bunker right here Again. Oh shit, this one's got a little weight to it. These circle hooks, you just gotta reel straight, man. You can't you can't herky jerky it, you just kinda gotta reel straight. It's a lot different than the J hooks. Just 
real straight. Don't do nothing fancy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, there he is. Decent, decent, decent. Decent, decent, decent. There you go, Another about another 23 incher. There you go. Oh, all right, bro, I see you. How big, how big? That's 29. 29, what'd you get him on? I get him the, on the Nomad bag. Nice. What? That's a Nomad Shad. Nomad Shad. Yeah. Keep a tie. All right, it's 287 on my way back home to the river side of things where I belong. But hey, listen, what do we what do we get? Like three or four today? You know. So we caught a beautiful day. We caught a tan. We caught a couple fish. And for being squirreled up in the winter that entire time. Listen, the wife and the kids are at home and I got lines in the water. I can't complain at all. So what do we learn today, boys and girls? Well, we learned about uh, circle hooks. That's a regulation now. If you're, if you're fishing bait for stripers, period, you have to use circle hooks. And they cannot be offset circle hooks. Be careful when you're purchasing those things that they are not. Sometimes it's a very subtle, you feel them in the package, and it feels like straight circle hooks or inline circle hooks, and they are not. And you just wasted $20 of thick sporting goods. Me, personally, I like the Gamagatsu 4 odds, but make sure it says inline circle hooks there. Use them on a fish finder rig. Uh, you know, striped bass fishing, Raritan, Island Beach State Park, when I'm putting clam on, it's always been high lows. It's always been high lows. Take it from a guy who's missed, missed his, his fair share of fish this year because he's been trying to work circles on a high low. I mean, you can go fish finder, absolutely. And this is kind of what it's going to be for the next, I would say the next month. It's going to be dead stick and blood worms. Throwing kettle creeks, highly recommend those for, you know, if, you, if, if you're throwing some swim shads. You know, your SP minnows. Um, the guy that caught the striper, you know, the keeper striper. That was, uh, I think it was a nomad. Like one of those nomad shads. Um, you know, say, stuff like that. For the most part, until May hits and I'm on the beaches of Island Beach State Park you know, cast it out into the ocean. You know, a lot of it, if you're looking for easy money, if you're looking for easy fish, you're just dead sticking blood worms on a fish finder rig. So, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, it feels good to get on camera and start creating the content. So until next time, tight lines, and I'll probably see you next week.